So we've all been there when you're trying to play a game at high FPS, there's a frame drop and then you're dead because of probably your CPU overheating or not maintaining its turbo level. This can even happen when you're trying to do any strenuous task on the CPU such as video editing or multitasking with a game open in background stuff like that. So how to improve the temperatures on your CPU without upgrading your cooler or going out and buying a new CPU altogether to improve your performance because most likely the higher temperatures will result in lower turbo clocks for that CPU. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So first up, you need to download three apps. The first one is Intel Extreme Utility. Second one is IDA64 and third one is HW Monitor. Links will be in the description. Here you go. So you just open the Intel XTU, which is Extreme Tuning Utility. Then go to Core Voltage Offset. And that's where we're going to be adjusting. Because normally what happens is motherboards and manufacturers, they give extra voltage for safety between different CPUs. So um, we're going to just tune that to reduce the heat output as well as the turbo frequency. So now we just open Intel XTU uh, hardware monitor. We see the current temperatures we're running about 50 degrees Celsius. Uh, we start the FPU test on the system stability test of IDA64. Once we do that, we can see the temperatures rise up 72 on the package, you can see. Once they're at a desirable level, you can stop under Wilton. So my temperatures were around 100 degrees and uh, throttling. So what I did was reduce my voltage offset by starting at 100, then going up by 5 millivolts and keep running the stress test for 5 minutes. Um, and I was lucky enough to get a negative 0.200 volt under volts on mine as you will see soon. I'll show you. So you keep testing with Intel XTU and now if you're on desktop, you can just go to your motherboard and uh, uh, change a few settings there to mimic what we've done on Intel XTU so you don't have to have it installed Why we do this is just to test the stability of the undervolt So right now we're running negative 100 you can see all stable now we're gonna try negative 200 after all the testing I'll show you on the motherboard where to do it There we go set to 200 and I tested it all stable and uh, like you can see there's a, about 35 degree reduction which is a lot when it comes to PC cooling and I did not change any fan profiles or coolers on the CPU or even thermal compound so it's pretty good and uh, you're basically eking out free performance by undervolting so that CPU stays at turbo boost longer than it normally does so now on the motherboard side, what you need to do is just start your PC and hit delete. And my motherboard is an ASUS one, so I'm just going to head to the BIOS, AI tweaker, and then keep scrolling down to find uh, CPU voltage offset. We're going to set it to offset mode, and then uh, we're going to select the minus sign, and then we're going to select what we achieved on Intel XT. For me, it was negative 200. For you, it might be negative 100 or negative 075, it could be anything. So you have to test it on your own and uh, set it in the motherboard once you've tested the stability of it. Once you've done that, boot into Windows and run a stress test again on IDA64. And if it's all stable, you're good to go. If it's not, try to lower the undervolt. So if you did 100, go for 90 or 80 until you have stable performance as well as good low temperatures. So that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe button, Comment if you need any help regarding this or any other video that I've posted. I'll get back to you as fast as I can. Meanwhile, check out the other videos here and I'll see you guys in the next one.